What's up YouTube, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we will be reviewing uh, a much requested video, that of being uh, the Rafina Mega Mixer. Now the one that I have in front of me, I believe is the MM30, uh, which is probably, I think, Ibenstock slash Rafina's largest single paddled uh, mixer. So what do we think of the mixer? What are the good points? What are the bad points? Should you buy it? Well, in this video, we're going to go through all of those things. So hopefully you can decide whether this is a mixer you should buy or not. What I will say right out the outset is that we didn't pay for this mixer. We uh, asked Rafina very graciously if they would be willing to send us the mixer just to review it uh, so we can pass on the best information to our subscribers. So we want to say a big thank you to Rafina for doing that. But we also did say to them that if we thought the mixer was completely rubbish, we would say that. Um, on, on the channel. We're not being paid for this in any way, they just let us borrow the mixer so we could create this video. So a big thank you to Rafina. But on to the mixer itself, uh, what do we think? Just some of the basic informations uh, to, to know about the mixer. Well, um, it's an 1800 watt, the version we have is 240 volts. They also do a 110 version of this mixer. Now, uh, Louis and myself, we predominantly do domestic work uh, so we didn't want the 110 version, plus we didn't want a transformer, which is required in the United Kingdom to be able to use 110 tools. So that wasn't really uh, what we were interested in. I believe the price on the Rafina website is something like £399 plus VAT. So I think it's about £470, £480, something like that with the VAT. Um, Rafina would admit that you probably can buy that cheaper elsewhere. Generally, we buy all of our tools directly from uh, Rafina anyway, just because the customer service and the delivery really is excellent. So they're kind of the prices. Now, what you'll also notice on this mixer, just out of shot, uh, the paddle which um, Rafina sent us is the 160, uh, 160 millimeter one. I think that's the standard size that it comes with anyway. But you'll also notice here, hopefully it's on shot, it's possibly just out of shot here. This also does have the Rafina uh, quick release attachment. Again, Rafina did send us that, but we actually do have two other ones for our other mixers. Uh, we have the Festa one and we have a DeWalt one, uh, the cordless one, which we featured loads of times on our channel. Um, we did ask them if they would be willing to send us that because um, we don't use a mixer without a quick release. A couple of reasons being that it makes the mixer slightly taller. As I've mentioned on my videos before, I'm six foot two, so the higher the mixer, the better for me. But also it makes it so much easier for cleaning, especially when you do have uh, a cable dangling around. It is just so much easier just to quickly release uh, the mixer uh, so that it just pulls it off. Uh, for the benefit of the video, I'll actually release it uh, right now uh, so you can see how easy it is just to take it off. Um, I think they're around about 30 uh, or 40 pounds, something like this, um, but it's well worth the money. They're very heavy duty uh, attachments and it's something that if you change mixers, uh, it's a standard thread fitting uh, for, for plastering mixers or paddle mixers, so you can just switch them out um, to other mixes if you want to. <clears throat> so what are the, some of the features uh, with this particular mixer? Well, as you'll see in the, um, in the pictures in the B-roll, that this is a H-framed design. That was the one we wanted. I think they do do a single, uh, single handle version, I think. That's not really for us. We prefer the bigger version. Um, it has bump stops, so if it falls over, it does happen on a site. Um, it's obviously got the protection on it. One of the other things which is also very, very nice is that it has a protected trigger, which is fantastic. Um, any plasters that have spent any amount of time in the trade will know that the triggers typically get knackered very, very quickly, uh, which is incredibly frustrating. So there is a almost like a rubber shroud over the trigger to stop any dust getting in, so that shouldn't be an issue. We've also got the... Um, cable protector as it goes into the mixer um, so that if it should bunch up on the cable it, it, that, that bit as it hits the mixer is protected. You'll also see on the side of the mixer it has two variable speeds so it has a lower speed higher torque setting 
and then obviously a less torque setting but higher speed for when you're mixing up plaster and then obviously the lower speed for when you're mixing up uh, things like the dot and dab. But other than that, um, that pretty much is it. Uh, when I was talking to one of the Rafina representatives, uh, when we first got the mixer and we tried it out for about a week or so, we said to them, this is almost like uh, the Land Rover Defender of mixers. Namely, there's nothing really on it. It's incredibly heavy duty. The, 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 the A-frame handle design uh, is made of metal. I'm not entirely sure on the casing, to be perfectly honest with you. It, it's cold, so I'm going to assume it might be a metal casing. It is a very, very heavy mixer. And don't let that put you off. That heavy mixer, it, it just, it screams high quality. It really is superb. Now, over the last uh, few months, I think we've had this mixer maybe two or three months, probably longer than when Rafina actually thought we were going to have it, to be totally honest with you. We've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to get around to this video. Sorry about that, Rafina. Um, uh, it is... There, there, there's no bells and whistles with the mixer. It is just solid brute strength. The motor is absurd. It is so powerful. One of the things that Rafina mentioned to me is because it, it was brand new when we were sent, they did say that um, it can sound a little bit noisy when it first starts as the oil just starts to heat up. Um, that was noticeable actually when we first got the mixer, but now um, the, the last week or two we've been really abusing it to be perfectly honest with you um, and we haven't noticed the noise anymore so whether it's bedded the engine in or the motor in I don't know um, but it is noticeable at the start but what are the good points what are the bad points <clears throat> now there are um, some very good points about this for a start um, in our opinion, if you're a professional plaster, really there's only two mixers that you're going to be interested in. It's obviously going to be the Rafina Mega Mixer, um, tried and tested. I know plasters that have had their same mixer for some 15 to 20 years. Obviously, that is a very long time. And then you've got the other side of the spectrum, the cordless version, which is the DeVault version, which we also have. Now, we've had ours for about four or five years. Do I think it's going to last 20 years? Not a chance. Um, this Rafina will no doubt live past the DeWalt one. I don't think anyone needs to be convinced of that. <clears throat> um, so they are very hard wearing. Not only that, I think the DeWalt mix is about between 600 and 650 pounds. As we've already mentioned, this is 399 pounds plus VAT on the Rafina website. So if you can find it cheaper elsewhere, that's even less. So it's a good... 200 pounds plus in the United Kingdom cheaper. So you're getting more reliability at a lower price. Uh, not only that, the motor on this, uh, this 240 version is absurd. Now many of uh, our subscribers or those that follow us on Instagram as well will know uh, that we nearly always use a 200 millimeter paddle. Now, uh, Rafina did say to me that the, the 200 mil paddle is not designed for this mixer. Did we try it out on this mixer? Of course we did. Because at the end of the day, that's what we would do if we did own the mixer. So we thought we'd try it out. However, um, I'm going to have to obviously lean towards Rafina's better judgment here because there is actually a very good reason why using a 200 millimeter mixer is 200 millimeter paddle is not a great idea. Now, what we found is because this is so powerful and there's so much torque to it, it actually is really tiring trying to hold the paddle in place uh, because it's, uh, especially if the gear is stiffer, you're almost fighting the mixer because that paddle is bigger. So we actually switched back to the 160. We've had no issues whatsoever. It takes a little bit longer to mix up especially when we're using the bigger 100 litre tubs, but you don't have that strain. So you're getting incredible reliability, um, very robust. Um, you can imagine this churning through uh, sand and cement, drywall, uh, adhesive, plaster, bonding, hardwood, etc. until the cows come home. It's probably wear out, uh, this I'll probably wear out before the the mixer does that we have actually uh, tested it now it's one of the reasons why it took so long to get the review out um, 
We've tried it out on sand and cement. We've tried it out on five bag mixes of plaster, four bag mixes of da um, drywall adhesive, drywall adhesive and uh, hardwall as well. And this just crushes it, which is not something that you unfortunately get with the DeWalt, sadly. But we will feature that in another video where we compare the two later on. So great value for money. You're getting an awful lot of mixer for the money. The other thing which is really nice, uh, which I didn't actually know until Rafina mentioned it to me, that um, Rafina recommend getting these serviced every one to two years. Now, in the United Kingdom, it is £40 to have it serviced, and they will collect the mixer, service it for you, and send it back. Now, obviously, if there's something drastically wrong with the mixer and it requires parts, um, that would obviously be extra. But to get the mixer serviced for 40 quid and you don't have to do anything, that, in my opinion, is incredible service. So a massive thumbs up to um, Rafina. That said, is there any bad points on this mixer? And unfortunately, they are. And they're very small things, but they're really annoying things. Uh, one of the irritating things being that in this version, the newer version, the trigger doesn't lock off. Um, that is quite irritating. I, I believe my understanding is that some kind of thing in the United Kingdom where some laws changed or something like that, where or something like that, it was explained to me where it was before, but they're not able to do it now. So that's incredibly annoying. Now, um, admittedly, the dual cordless mixer doesn't lock off either, um, but with such a powerful mixer, it is nice to have a locking mixer, uh, locking trigger. This doesn't have it. The other thing um, that this doesn't have is it doesn't have a variable dial. So a variable speed dial, it has a variable trigger. Uh, which basically means that the harder you pull the trigger in, the faster it goes. Um, coming from a mixer that does have a variable speed, that is incredibly useful. When we first got the mixer, naturally we just switched it straight over the 200 mil paddle, turned the mixer on full chat, um, and the plus went absolutely everywhere. The speed that this spins up straight out the gate is unbelievable. Now, obviously, it's one of those transition periods where you're slowly getting used to it, so it wasn't, uh, it's not such a big deal after a week or so. But coming from a variable, um, variable dialed mixer to this uh, was quite an adjustment, so it was um, a little bit frustrating. Um, Trying to think if there's any other negative points that we didn't particularly like. Can you think of anything you didn't like? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, and the other annoying thing about the mixer, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a tiny thing, and it isn't really a comment in itself, is the fact it's leaded. Obviously, if you've gone from a cordless mixer to a corded one, naturally, that is incredibly irritating. It's a nice looking lead, obviously it's green, it's kind of a nice little feature, um, and the, the, the cable is long enough for domestic work, so that's not an issue at all. Um, it is just the fact that it's leaded. Uh, also, one other minor thing as well, the change from the higher, higher gear ratio to the lower gear ratio is a little bit janky, it almost feels like a manual, it feels like it's almost engaging the cogs inside, so it's not almost like an electric, um, change so it's not seamless in fact it actually can be it gets stuck a little bit and you just have to wriggle it in place but in reality these are very minor things and when you actually think about the things that we have mentioned these are not this mixer isn't a bells and whistles it's not a fancy thing it's not going to be telling you your battery percentage it's not going to connect to your phone and it's not going to play music out of it but what this will likely do, if you look after it, is that if you're new to the trade, this will possibly last you halfway through, if not all the way to the end of your career. It is that well made. For the money, this is absolutely worth every penny. Now, don't get me wrong, there are mixes which are much cheaper. Um, there are other... Um, Plastering channels that have mentioned about uh, things like the DeWalt mixers, which is obviously an awful lot cheaper. Um, you can get 
I think Bosch do a, a mixer, etc. You can even get a mixers around about a hundred pound. The reality is those mixers last with you know, about a year or so and they die. They don't have the same kind of power that this is pushing out. So if you are the sort of plasterer that puts on an awful lot of meterage, perhaps like us, we often mix up a lot of our sand and cement with a paddle. You're looking for that powerful mixer. If you do an awful lot of dry lining, so you do a lot of sticking of dab, um, dab is typically mixed up very thick. This mixer will handle it. Just don't use the 200 mil paddle like uh, Rafina recommended because uh, your wrist will probably snap off before long because it is that powerful. So all in all, what do we think? Um, it is fantastic. Um, I don't think in reality anyone really thought that the, the Rafina Mega Mixer was uh, a rubbish mixer at all. If anyone probably... Uh, was to say the best of best mixer of all, it was likely going to be the Rafina Mega Mixer. The question really boils down to whether you want to go for a cordless or, or leaded. Uh, and what we will actually do is uh, we mentioned this to Rafina. We're actually going to put the, uh, the do the review against the Rafina and the Dewalt. We have both of them. We've tested them both out for quite a long time. And so we'll let you know what we think as to whether uh, you should buy one or the other. But for this video, uh, this mixer here, the Rafina Mega Mixer, specifically the MM30, it's a massive thumbs up for us. Rafina, you've made a, a fantastic machine and you have done for, for many, many years. And we thank you so much for sending it over to us to let us uh, do the video. It's much appreciated. We hope this video has been helpful. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.